the legend Professor James Smalls will be coming to Atlanta, Georgia, April 6th and April 7th with special guests Destiny Pandarvis and Tassili Ma'at. Text me now at 347-496-1022 or you can go to my link tree at linktree forward slash King Simon the numeral beta. The one, the only Professor James Smalls as you've seen him on Hidden Colors and all the other documentaries. You want to be there April 6th and April 7th, public and private event with Professor James Smalls. King Simon, King Simon, I love him. He's yeah. family, um, and he has one of the top shows on the Forbidden Knowledge TV network, actually. Right. So make sure you guys check that out if you haven't. Yeah, his show is called. Um, it's uh, well, it was really based on numerovation. It's a numerology show, and it's called How to Calculate Your Destiny. Yeah. By King Simon, he's the host of the show. The show has done so well. We're now getting ready to start working on filming season two. All right, so King Simon, one of the top shows on Forbidden Knowledge TV, streaming TV platform. Hey, this is King Simon, the international numero beta. Remember, get all my books on Amazon or go to Linktree forward slash King Simon, the numero beta. And remember, don't forget to book my sessions at 347-496-1022. Book now. It's the numerovational session with King Simon. Text your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. And get my books on Amazon now. All right, family. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Don't forget to vote. Don't forget to vote. How you doing? How you doing, family? How about everybody doing out there? Put them all in the chat if you can hear me. Put a number one in the chat if you could hear me, family. Put a number one in the chat if you can hear me. Put a number one in the chat if you can hear me right now. If you can hear me right now, put a number one in the chat. This is King Simon Presents the Only Quality People. Don't forget this coming Sunday, we got Five the Hard Way coming in live and direct. This, this coming Sunday. Hmm. Yeah, this coming Sunday, we got Five the Hard Way coming in live and direct. I hope y'all come and enjoy. It's going to be a beautiful Sunday. Myself will be interviewing these great people that's going to be coming on. So y'all want to be in the building on Sunday, family. Sunday, we're going to tear it up. Unc Rising Sun, Mama Ella, Adara Moselle, Dr. Shakira Moore, Lloyd Strayhorn. We all going to be here on Sunday. Woo! I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Welcome back to the Mathematical Universe with your brother King Simon. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling out there? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? feeling? Let me see. Let me do a roll call real quick. Let me do a roll call real quick. I'm feeling good today. I'm gonna do a roll call. I see. Okay, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. Politics is in the building. All right, Iris is in the building. Empress is in the building. Love Lifted is in the building. Big up to all of y'all that's in the building. Let me go to Instagram real quick and find out who's in the building. Royal Melly is in the building. Joanne is in the building. Of course, King X40 is in the building. Ritual Herbs in the building. Of course, I am Madonna. Happy birthday, girl. She's in the building. Uh, Dero Salvior is in the building. Owen is in the building. Holly is in the building. Of course, I am D, what? I am a D, what? K-M, D-A-K-M, okay. Ritual Herbs is in the building. Everybody's in the building. They're coming in the building. So big up to all of y'all in the building. Thank you very much, Instagram, for showing up. Facebook is not working on StreamYard today. Something's going on with some problems, so I'm not able to broadcast on Facebook. But I will share the link on my Facebook, so I'm able to do that. Family, 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 I hope y'all are feeling well. I'm feeling good. I feel good. Da, na, 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 na. Don't know how to would now. Hey, step back and kiss myself. Wow. <laughs> Got to step back and kiss myself. Today, the numerovational perspective of being a vessel, 
Ah, this is going to be very important because we're going to drop it like it's hot, drop it, drop it like it's hot, going to drop it like it's hot, drop it, drop it like it's hot. And I woke up with this this morning too. My goodness, I woke up this morning with this thought in my mind about the word vessel and the importance of using it and becoming a numerovational vessel because numbers don't lie, people lie to themselves. And I think it's very important that we recognize the importance of understanding being a vessel, not just a vessel in water, like in the ships and boats and all that kind of stuff, but being a vessel of knowledge, wisdom, understanding, being a vessel of credibility and guidance to others, and also being willing to allow people to pour knowledge into us. As I was stating uh, in the live that I did recently, um, with uh, on, on my live that I, I did recently on um, while I was in the backyard there chilling. Um, but it's important. And please, again, please remember to vote, 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 vote for your brother. Please text that number right now, 954-245-0086. I'm in that category because I want to be, be in that number when the saints come marching in. <laughs> yes, right. On now, baby, on now. Tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell your cousin that King Simon is on now. Tell him on, tell him that I am on now. And of course, like I said, Sunday, we're gonna have these great people with us on Sunday. Next Wednesday, we have the one, the only Supreme Understanding coming in with myself and Carrie Ann Ingram. Make sure you come on out to the YG Urban Cafe for Professor James Smalls, 640 Evans Street, baby. It's going to be crazy. That's the public event. The private event is going to be at a secret location, man. And that will be hosted by myself and Blue Pill and um, uh, Sister Golda. Also, that's going to be hosted by myself. Blue Pill and Sister Golda, they're going to be in the building. Also, you're more than welcome to join us on the live stream for the public event. Let me put that next to the public event because the public event, that's for the public event. And remember, I will be in Brooklyn the 13th and the 14th, 13th and the 14th with my Unc Rising Son, Mama Ella, and then I'll be with them on the 14th at Nicholas Brooklyn. If you want to get any tickets for that, please, please, please. Don't let me start sounding like James Brown in this piece. Please, please, please. If you want to get any tickets to that, let me show you right now. This is how you get those tickets right now. You can go to my link tree, uh, uh, link tree forward slash King Simon, the numerator. Or if you want tickets for any of the events, Atlanta and New York City, go to my link tree forward slash King Simon, the numerator, or allmylinks.com forward slash King Simon Productions right now, because right now is the best time for y'all to do it right now. So right now, go get those tickets. Go get those tickets. Come on out and enjoy. Give me a hug. Come on out and give me a big old hug. I need hugs. I need hugs. Yes, I need hugs, family. I need hugs. So make sure y'all come on out and give me a big hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. We're here to help guide and teach. So I'm glad that people are enjoying what we are doing out here in these mathematical streets. <laughs> I'm glad y'all are here enjoying what I'm doing in these mathematical streets. Respect to all of you out there. Mm -hmm. So, ah, man. So this morning I woke up and I had a very interesting dream about a friend of mine that's a doctor. And her and I were sitting down, meditating and talking. And then when I got up from the dream, the dream said, allow yourself to be a vessel. I think that's what we were speaking about, allowing yourself to be a vessel. Let me uh, clean these glasses off here. These are my blue blocker glasses. Like I tell y'all, that's for blocking out the craziness and the frequencies from these computers, uh, the energy that's coming through the computers, the blue light. You know, you know, Dr. Blair used to speak of, speak about this all the time back in the day. So these blue blockers, these gunner glasses are very helpful. Uh, if you don't have one, make sure you get one. That's the gunner glasses, the gunner, the gunner glasses. Very good for blocking out all these crazy stuff going on through the guy. It, it don't block out 100 percent, but it block out a lot of stuff coming through your eyes. And like I said, because I'm born under the number one, like I said on the last podcast, because I'm born under that number one energy. Yeah, I got to block out those things coming in my eyes. So. All right. So, family. It's important that we allow ourselves to be vessels, vessels of 
apologies, vessels of forgiveness. Even if there's a friend out there that you may have hurt or you may have hurt them or they may have hurt you unknowingly. Sometimes we hurt people unknowingly. And if I have hurt anyone unknowingly, I would like to say I apologize to anyone out there that I may have heard hurt from my words, from what I may have said in the past, those that I might say in the present, those that I may say in the future. I apologize for that because sometimes it takes a big man and a woman to apologize. And sometimes you got to be open to be the vessel of apology. You know, some people, you know, some people are negatively ego driven that they don't ever want to apologize, that they've never have to apologize for nothing and all that. And it doesn't mean that, that that's, that's right from their perspective, but it doesn't mean that it's, it's not right to do it. And sometimes, you know, even your parents find it hard to apologize. Sometimes back in the day, I used to find it hard to apologize to my own children. Now I learned how to be empathetic. So I, if I do hurt somebody in any way, I apologize to them and just keep it moving. And it, sometimes, you know, people think apologies ain't enough, but if you're apologizing from a sincere place that you're not gonna do it again and over and over again, then yo, accept the apology. But if it becomes too much continuation of the same madness and the same cycles that you gotta keep on saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize, I apologize. But if you're fooling around or, you know, fooling around behind your, your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you gotta apologize so you can get back into their good grace and all that kind of stuff, that just don't make sense. Now we know that they're, 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 they're using you instead of uh, being sincere about their apologies. So a real king or a real empress I don't like to call women queens because that means the king's whore. So a real emperor, a real king, or a real empress. And if you use the word queen, I got it. You know, respect to everybody that uses the word queen. But when you go to the etymology of it, it's, it's different. It's not, you know, that's not a word that we should constantly use. We should change it. But respect to those that use it from the positive aspect of the word queen. So... Again, being a vessel and allowing yourself to receive and also give is like pouring. And that's why I have this particular thing. There's, these are two vessels working together. Actually, there's three vessels working together, but we're not gonna talk about the human vessel in the picture. But when you're a vessel that's pouring pure energetic energy into a glass of water or into a glass, and looking and that glass that you're pouring into as as you see in this picture over here as you see in this picture over here that glass that you're pouring into can represent a child it could represent your woman it could represent your man it could represent your friend it could represent your your grandchildren you got to pour the clean glass of water pour the clean water in them and be very careful of the dirty water that you pour in them that's why the most honorable elijah muhammad spoke about the difference between the clean glass of water and the dirty glass of water if you present the clean glass of water the person will drink it all the time as long as it's not vinegar because vinegar is clear and clean too <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> so when you present that clean glass of water, that clean glass of H2O, being open to being a vessel, being a vessel for yourself and your family and the things that you want to do and what you want to accomplish. This is a very important subject, being the numerovational perspective of being a vessel. And I'm going to use being a vessel. That's what's on the board today. That is what's on the board. Being a vessel. And when I go to what's the spiritual meaning of being a vessel, when I share screen, I'm gonna share screen about what it means from a spiritual perspective to be a vessel. There it says on the board, it says being a vessel of God or the creator means because all of us are gods having a human experience. So being a vessel of the creative force within all of us, the all within all, 
That's what Allah means, not just arm, leg, leg, arm, head, according to the 5%, but also the all within all, like Dr. Khalid taught us back in the day, and Minister Farrakhan has taught us. Being a vessel of the all within all, or God, means remaining open and receptive to his or her grace, allowing him or her to fill and transform us into his or her image. I keep on bringing that duality, his or her. God uses us as vessels to manifest his or her presence and love on earth, working through us to perform acts of kindness and spread his or her message. Then on the other side over here, if you see where I'm scrolling right here, you see this. It says, being a vessel of God holds profound significance in spiritual context, let's explore. One of them is openness and receptivity. The second one is manifesting God's presence and love. The third one is surrender and relationship. The third, fourth one from a biblical reference, they got all the biblical references down there, but I'm not really coming from a biblical stand. I'm coming really from a spiritual perspective. I'm coming from a spiritual perspective because that's more important than just the religious dogma that they put out there in regards to being a vessel. So I'm going to remove all of that. <clears throat> Be a vessel. So all of us in our own way, in our own life, are vessels of information, are vessels that need to receive or once was once a child that was a vessel that received information from our mother, our father, our sisters, our brothers, our cousins, our aunties, our uncles, our grandparents. So be open to be a, being a vessel. So when I look at the numerovational perspective of being a vessel, the word being in the Pythagorean system adds up to a number 28, which is a 10, which is a one. Now, the two and the eight in 28 deals with the being compassion, being ever evolving with the number eight and being an infinite ever evolving frequency because you're a human being. So the being has to be not only compassionate and loving and bring balance, but it has to be an ever evolving and understanding of the karma that can come while being who you are. But karma means cause and effect. So it means either putting out the good cause so you can get the best effect out. That's the importance of being. And because it adds up to the number 10, which is the wheel of fortune energy, whatever the being puts their mind to do, it can manifest whether positive or negative is up to them because the wheel of fortune energy of the number 10 is an extreme energy that leads to creativity, productivity, assertiveness, and the being being able to be a paradigm shifter. On the positive, I'm giving most of the positive. On the negative, the 28, is a, known, is a number known as the divorce number. And like I say in my book, numerovational, numerovation for mental stability, the number 28 is the symbol of promise and possibilities. So the word being or you being a being or being a vessel, the being is saying that you have a promise and possibilities. It's a number of careful careful planning for the future. So 28 is also the number that that being has to be carefully and be careful in planning for the future. And in my book, I talk about the number 28. And remember, the 28 is also known as the divorce number in certain systems of numerology. But it also means that you can divorce yourself from negative people, negative situations, negative beings. Because sometimes the negative of these vibrations take over the being. Where the one can be indecisive and arrogant, painful and, 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 and uh, uh, outwardly dis dis destructive. I'm talking about the word being. 
In the Chaldean system, it adds up to a number 16, which is a seven. And I have told you about that number 16 over and over again. The number 16 in compound numerology is the number of victory and defeat or spiritual victory or defeat, depending on the physical use of it. That's why it's a preparatory number of creative aspect and balance aspect, but it's a preparatory uh, aspect that's saying you gotta prepare and plan before you make moves as a being in this realm. And because it adds up to the number seven, which is the law of attraction number, remember seven, as I speak about in my book, Numerovation for Mental Stability, I talk about seven being the, the symbol of spiritual growth and development. So the being, what you're here as a being to do is to grow spiritually, is to develop physically also on a higher intuitive understanding and understanding of yourself. I'm showing you how to read my book in particular, but any numerology book in general. Because once you understand the nuances and the interpretations of these numbers, you can apply them to the words that we use. So 16 is a number of fatality if they don't plan for the future. And 28 is similar to that because it also offers you, it also tells you to plan for the future, careful planning for the future. The number 28, two different numbers, but both of them are reminding the human being or the being to plan for the future. In anything that you do, in the most positive, productive, and intentional way. Because we're still pouring, look, we're pouring here. I'm pouring into you how to use this mathematics. I'm pouring. Because whatever downloads and uploads that I'm receiving in my loving, my 11 personal year cycle, because if you add my birthday, I'm born February the 1st. So how you find your personal year cycle, if you're born February 1st and you add it towards 2024, which adds up to a number eight, two plus one plus Eight equals 11. So I am now in my 11 personal years cycle. And 11 is the number that says it's a number of insight and finding your mission in this 11 cycle. That's why 11 don't come around that easy. It comes around every now and then. 22 year cycle comes around every now and then. So your brother is in his 11 personal year cycle. So that's why y'all see me coming up here constantly because there's a download, a bunch of downloads and uploads. Some are, some are, some are, some are traumatic, but every trauma that I dream about or anything that I've download, download, it's also healing because I come up here to express. Because remember, my alignment number, when you add the two plus the one equals a three, and that's the number of expression. So I need to express it. I can't hold it in or I'll pop or the development become some type of disease or ailment. I got to let it out. In the cycle that I'm in, and because I'm in my 11-year cycle, this is the year of fame and fortune, yes. But it has to be intentional and spiritual fame and fortune. That's why Billy Carson wants to do another show, the second show with me. One plus one equals two. And that show is going to be even better than the first show that I did on Forbidden Knowledge. I guarantee it because there's more being downloaded right now in my 11-year cycle. So I'm allowing myself to be a vessel because when being a vessel is put together, in the vowels of this name, the A, E, I, O, U's of these words, it adds up to a number 25, which is spiritual. And 25 is the observation and the listening, impeccable listening and impeccable observation from inwardly as well as outwardly, and then being willing to attract what you need in your life, being a vessel. The word A, is a vowel, but it's also a word being a or being a vessel is the number one. So it deals with the leadership qualities. 
the, the one that's in the head of the class. So when you're a something, when you're being a something or wanting to be a something, you're, put, you're putting that word a or a as a leadership in who you are and what you want to be. So being a vessel, you got to be a single spiritual vessel for whatever wants to come through and whatever what you want to receive from others. And like I said in my last IG um, live just recently, I said, I commend Queen of Four because your brother was one who didn't know how to receive a compliment. And when people used to compliment me, I always used to tone it down and say, no, nah, don't compliment me. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm all right. Don't blah, blah, blah. Queen of Four is the one that showed me how to receive it years ago. She said, Simon, just receive the accolades. Receive it. Receive that you're a beautiful brother. Receive that you're you're an initiator. Receive because she does cardiology and she reads cards and, and even Aquarius Maximus and Nina D Diamond say, I'm, I'm born under that jack of spade, the initiator. I initiate things. I initiate people into things. That's why you see me bring on a lot of new people and a lot of new faces because I initiate them into what I'm doing so they can expand and grow for themselves. I don't want to keep them under me. I'm not keeping Carrie Ann under me. I'm not going to keep Carrie Ann under me. Carrie Ann is, is here for a, a, a season, a reason and a season. I wanted to make sure she built her thing in Toronto, Canada. So when she does an event out there, I want to help her to go and do what I do. And it's no, it's no, it's, it's nothing else, not, nothing other than that. I'm not trying to be with her and all of that shit. I don't want to be there. I don't want to do that. I want her to grow. And she can tell you that her page, her Carrie Ann Ingram YouTube page, have grown immensely since we've started doing work together. You know, it may be slow, but surely. But remember, my program is called King Simon Presents Only Quality People. So I'm not really looking for quantity. I'm looking for quality. And all I want to present is quality people, sometimes new, sometimes old, sometimes in between. But I'm going to present quality, not the drama. And even if I bring the drama filled people or people that are doing drama out there, I brought on um, Polite on my show before, years ago, before he went and did his thing. But he had quality information at that time. I brought on Brother Garfield on my show, but he's had quality information when they come on my show. I brought on Malik Zulu Shabazz. And, he, but, and although they can get into controversy, they had quality information when they came through my show. That's what I look for, the quality in a person, because everybody have, is a vessel for something. Everybody is a vessel for something. To so being a vessel, because the N words, the A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, as a 25, it's an observational and listening apparatus that you have to be when you're being a vessel for to receive and to give, because it's reciprocal. The word being as a tool number one, the word a or a as a tool number one, and the word vessel in the Pythagoras system as a tool number one. So I see one, one, one. Automatically, one, one, one comes into my head because I look at things from a holistic perspective. So when I look at things from a holistic perspective, I might pull out the angel number book. And she says, one, one, one represents this. She says, the number one, the, these, this number brings you the urgent message that your thoughts are manifesting instantly, being a vessel. So keep your mind's mindset focused upon your desires and give any fearful thoughts to heaven for transmutation. Because I noticed the one, one, one in my perspective. And when I start seeing one, one, one popping up constantly, I have to go to the, either the angel number book or I'll go to the synchronicity book to give me an angel and an angle reminder of where I need to go with this, these words, being a vessel, if I'm going to allow myself, like Dr. B says, be a vessel. And then the word vessel adds up to 19. 19, according to tarot, is the number of the sun. And what does the sun do? Shine light and inspiration unto others. 
The number 19 in my book is a symbol of final accomplishments from the alpha and the omega, the one and the nine. It's a karmic number. It's known as a karmic number, but you got to remember, it's a karmic number that says if you put out the good karma of shining your light, you could avert the negative karma of shining the negative of your light. That's why the number 19 is a number of self-confidence, innovative paradigm shifter, create uh, creative leaders. That's why somebody like 19 Keys will thrive because he's here to shine light, but he's also here to be self-confidence, innovative, and a paradigm shifter because his life path adds up to a number 19 or 28 in one aspect. Because I think he's born, he's born, um, he's born, um, he's born May 4th when you add one plus four plus 1990 adds up to 1999. So when you add that one plus nine plus that 18 equals 28, which is a 10, which is a one, but still, I still see the 19 frequency around him because he's using it. And that adds up to a 10, which is a wheel of fortune energy again. So what if he put his mind to whether good or evil, he will accomplish it on his own level. But when you're being a vessel and understand the importance of being a vessel to other people, then you're supposed to shine light and then also be able to receive the light from others that want to share and shine light on you. It has to be a give and take. The balance, the duality is always there. And then in the midst of the word vessel, I see the master number 11 and the master number 33. Both powerful numbers for that word because it adds an intensity and it adds another dimension of what the word vessel means. Because when you're a vessel for something and because the 11 is there, that is the spiritual insight, the spiritual teacher. So when you're a vessel, you have to bring the spiritual insight and you have to receive the spiritual insight. When you're a vessel because of the 33, because that's the master number of healing and consoling and teaching and nurturing and imagination. When you're being imaginative through your vessel, then you also have to receive the imagination and the creativity and also the youthful energy because in numerology, in the study of numbers, the youth, the known youthful numbers in certain systems is the one, the three, and the five. So if you're born connected to those numbers and you're maintaining your health in any way, if you have a majority of those numbers in your namesake or in your birthday sake, then you can maintain your youth because these are known as the youthful numbers. The youthful numbers. These numbers. Then you have old soul numbers, which is the number seven, eight, nine, and keep on going up. Those are the old soul numbers. Where the other numbers like six and four, those numbers are numbers of balance in between the two energies. It's like a midlife <laughs> numbers, right? Midlife numbers because from four to six all the way to seven, that's what we call four, six, four, five, six, and seven. That's what we call the crossroads. One of your major crossroads in certain systems of numerology is the four, five, six, and seven. See, this is how I teach in my class, in my, in my courses. I break it down on the board, I get it in. I be dancing on this board. And this is the same board you'll see on my eight hour course. It's the same board that's in there. So in the Chaldean system, A is still consistent with the one, like we spoke and broke down. But the word vessel has 33 and it adds up to a number 25, which is a seven. Both being and vessel has that number seven. It's just two different sevens because of the number 16 and the number 25. Again, dealing with the observation, the need to observe. In my book, I talk about the number 25 and I like going to my book because I made sure I called it symbols first before I started applying it to the human being or to the human element. I call them symbols first. I don't see many books doing that. Only the older ones may do it, but not the newer ones because they go directly to 
the human element instead of realizing that these are all symbols. All these numbers and letters are all symbols and we are the ones that put energy behind them to make them work for us. They work for us. You're not working for them. They don't care about you. They don't even know you exist. <laughs> We're writing it on the board, but because of our ancient ancestors in antiquity, they showed us how to use the numbers from a physical perspective with the mathematics, geometry, and trigonometry, but also from an esoteric perspective. That's why this book by that was uh, that John Henry Clark did the uh, the opening for was so important. This book is called Africa Counts. John Henry Clark didn't write this book. He did the introductory to this book. This book is written by Claudia uh, uh, Zas Zaslaski, but John Henry Clark did the opening, the uh, the opening um, um, introduction, as you can see on the bottom here in the back. It says introduction by John Henry Clark, one of our esteemed elders. Africa counts number and pattern in African culture. Numbers. That's why I keep on telling my clients. I say clients. Numerology is not psychic. We pay attention to the patterns, numbers, cycles, sequences, and, 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 and patterns in your life and see what you keep on attracting to your life and how you need to spiral up out of the madness that you're going through if you're going through madness or how you can get better in what you're doing while you're going through the spiraling. Because this universe is spirals. It's not just going around linear and all that kind of it's spiraling throughout this whole universe. There's a spiral going on. Good book to have, by the way, Africa Counts. Good book to have. Put this right back on my shelf. I like to keep things on order. So because being a vessel adds up to a number 15 and then a number 17 in the vowels of it, vowel, being a vessel, let's go to the vowels first. Being a vessel adds up to the number 17. In my book, I'm talking about the vowels, the A, E, I, O, U. In my book, I talk about the, the number 17 being the symbol of peace. Uh, uh, 17 is a symbol of peace and love. It is considered a highly spiritual number symbolizing the eight-pointed star of Venus. And in some ancient circles, it is called the star of the Magi. So the internal meaning of being a vessel is a star that's of the Magi that's here to shine and here to turn little of nothing into something because the Magi's in history were the alchemists that were able to turn little of nothing into something. The three wise men during the time of Jesus from Ethiopia were called Magi's. When you had that knowledge and so it could be three wise women, I could care less, they could have turned the story around. I don't know, but whoever came and delivered that stuff to, to, the, to the, 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 the story, they had the Magi energy. And that Magi energy comes with creativity and spirituality because of the one and the seven. And because it adds up to the eight, that's where the infinite power comes with it because the eight is similar to the infinity symbol, but it is not the infinity symbol. But in the metaphysical and esoteric world, we, we claim it as an infinity symbol because of its resemblance. And I understand, use it. As long as it works for you, use it. I still got to look at the duality of it because the infinity symbol is like what goes around comes around. That's why it looked like a sideways eight. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. So when you write it on the board, when you write that infinity symbol on the board, you got it, you got it. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. That's why we wore the bow tie. That's why we wore the bow tie in the nation of Islam because that re represented infinite knowledge in the physical plane coming from your throat chakra. That's why we wore the bow tie. That was the symbolism of the bow tie. And if you ever seen the Arabs wear the Emma, when we used to wrap our Emma, it had the, this is how we used to wrap it, just like this. That's how we used to wrap it. That's why when you see brothers wearing the Emma and then with the long string on the bottom, we used to wrap our Emma just like that with the infinity symbol. Because it really, that represents spiritual knowledge. So you're bringing the 360 here, and you're bringing the 360 here, which equals 720. So you're having physical knowledge and spiritual knowledge. That's what we, that's why we wore the, 
I used to wear the Emma when I was in the Ansar community. I knew how to wrap it good too. I look good in the Emma, white flowing jello bear with an Emma on my head, walking through New York, tab leaking and teaching. Those who remember us from back in the day, the Ansar Allah community in the 80s, brothers in white, sisters in white, we look good, we were shining. And then when you see us in the bow tie, wearing those starch bow ties and suits and looking good, 360, 360, 720. Big up to the Swerving 20 Martial Arts School with uh, 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 Abdul Hakim, Grandmaster Abdul Hakim. If he might be watching, if you know, if I shout him, he's going to say, oh, he's going to shout him. 720, that's the name of his school. Big up to that martial arts teacher, one of my dear friends. So I'm just saying that's connecting to the number eight frequency. All of this is all about the eight and what goes around comes around and the energy of the eight. And then I just veered off into what it represented from, uh, from the religious perspective that I was under, especially in the nation and especially in the Ansar uh, Ansar Orthodox type Muslims. So get rid of that. So again, the word vessel adds up but when you when you add all of it up it adds up to the number 15 in the chaldean system that's why both systems and looking into both systems are very important because then you get a full picture of what's going on and what this word really means from a mathematical perspective and how to use it because like i read earlier about the spiritual perspective of it being a vessel of the creator means remaining open and receptive to the creator's grace, allowing the creator to fill and transform us into the creator's image. Creator uses us as a vessel to manifest the creator's presence and love on earth, working through us to perform acts of kindness and spread his message. Now, are there people doing the negative? Because every number on here has a negative. In numerology, remember, there's always a constructive, which can be considered positive, and there's always a destructive, a negative. And then in between, it could be always a complacent, where you, fight, you might feel comfortable and stuck where you are. And remember, comfort is the enemy of progress. Comfort is, this is the comfort level. This is, a, this is the destructive level. You can keep on going down. Or this is a, this is a construct, this is a constructive level. Keep on going up or spiraling up. Or you could be spiraling up or spiraling down. Or you can remain comfortable where you at. That's how I break down people and my clients and telling them what they got to do with their numbers. Because you know, one a person came on here last week, came on this on, on my live, said, This don't work for you, this don't work. For you. you know, Bob Marley used to say, Why anything can work in a skip. I'm not talking about the movie. This is a real quote from Bob Marley. Bob Marley, you ask Bob Marley about certain things. Bob Marley said, you know, anything can work in a skip. Or anything can work. Anything can work if you work it. So if I am imploring numerology or the study of numerology, which I call numerovation, to guide you with your numbers to be motivated, that means the interpretation, if you're willing to unpack it for yourself and make it work for yourself, it will work. But if you're a lazy mother foe, mofo, if you, if you hard-headed and you don't want to make it work, then you will stay in your little, your little madness. Men and women and children, Remember the story that Les Brown told years ago <laughs> about a dog laying on a nail? The dog is laying on the nail and he's moaning and groaning, complaining every day, laying on his nail for the whole day, laying on the nail. So when the guy come over to ask the owner, what's wrong with the dog? The dog said, the owner says he's laying on the nail. Uh, the, the guy asks, um, why he don't just get up off the nail. He said it doesn't hurt that much. That's why he doesn't get off of it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt as much. As, it don't hurt that much. So people will lay in their comfort zone and stay in the comfort zone because when you're going up into another higher level of your life, there's always going to be turbulence. There's certain turbulence that I'm going through right now because I'm, I'm, I'm excelling into something else. 
I'm turning, I'm transforming in front of all of y'all and y'all don't even, some of y'all don't even realize it. Some of my own friends don't realize it. Some of my mother, my mothers, my family, my brothers, my sisters, my children don't even realize it. I'm transforming and I'm not going down, I'm going up. And that's what I want you to do wholeheartedly. I want everybody to come up with me. If I don't get none, we, if, 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 I, if I get some, we all get some. That's what I love about what, um, what, um, what uh, the brother born August the 19th said, uh, Fat Joe said on The Breakfast Club this morning. I listened to it this morning. He loved people to eat. He born August the 19th. That's that number one. That's that number nine. That's number one energy. We want y'all to eat. We want y'all to do your thing. That's why I come up here and teach. And if you get, even if you don't ever do a session from me and you only buy my books, the information in all of my books, if you apply the positive interpretation and make sure you don't go down the negative interpretations of my of what's in my book you will be all right you will start to eat and you'll be starting to feed your own children and be a vessel of receiving and giving and the number 15 closing out i'm gonna close out with the number 15 in my book i talk about the 15 being a vessel the number 15 is a symbol of magic and mystery. Combination of one and six expresses the perfected human balance and perfection of humanity. The number 15 is a very favorable number when you're being a vessel. It's a very favorable number and a favorable and powerful number. That's what I said in my book. The number 15 is a number that brings harmony and balance to any situation, but the negative of not being a vessel or allowing your vessel to take down the negative road is being lazy, jealous, careless, controlling, possessive, suspicious, false pride. If you're not a lot, if you're making your vessel become something of the negative of the number 15, you're throwing yourself off balance. The number 15 in tarot is called the devil card. It's called a devil card. But remember, the word devil goes both ways. You can be devil goes both ways. Devil goes both ways. You can live on a negative or you could be on the positive. Which one you want to do? Just like the word evil goes both ways. You can either live or you can be evil. Live righteously. Or you can go down the negative road. You got duality here. Everything is duality. Like we talk about God and dog. God. Dog. Duality, the negative, the positive. Man is striving to be at their highest and master themselves, or they can go to the lowest and become a beast. God or dog, which one you want to be? Live or devil? You want to live or you want to be evil? You got to make that decision. It's in your hands, family. That's what I'm trying to say. It's in your hands. On that note, I hope y'all enjoyed what I did, what I presented to you from my perspective. That's why this is called a numerovational perspective. That's why it's called a numerovational perspective. Any one of my books that you get is worth it. If you can't drop a cut, cash app donation or none of that, or PayPal donation, any one of my books you can give as a gift to someone. Remember, this was the numerovational perspective of being a vessel, focusing on vessels. And any one of my books can give you some kind of guidance because at the particular time when I wrote these books, there was a pouring out of information, careful consideration as far as cross-referencing. That's why in the back of all my books, there's recommended reading in the back of the book. I think I put more emphasis on the recommended reading in back of this book because this was my fourth and last book, my fourth book before, my, my, not my final book, I got more book. I got another book about to come out already. But this is the fourth book that really meant a lot because it dealt with mental issues. And remember, I did
disclaim any liability if you misuse this information. That's why I have a disclaimer in my book and I have a disclaimer also in my audio book that's about to come out. The author disclaims any liability caused by the direct or indirect use or misuse of the information in this book. The content is not meant to take the place of any form of accredited licensed medical professional or mental health practitioner. And it is and is not meant to replace the need for independent medical, financial, legal, or other professional advice or services as may be required. The content and information in this book have been provided for educational and edutainment purposes only. So this is about educating you on how you can choose to use your numbers on the most positive and productive way. That's what I stand for. And I love you. And there's nothing you could do about it. You know why? Because I love myself. And there's nothing I definitely can't do about that. I had to love myself or I would have let myself take myself out <laughs> back in the day. So I'm not going down that road evermore because I got things to do and I got people to help. And I hope you help and serve the greater purpose. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, 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 yes. Ramadan Mubarak to all those Muslims out there. I see a lot of y'all hit me up. I didn't even look at the chat. I'm sorry I didn't look at the chat. And it's all right. People didn't want to hit that. Make sure y'all hit those like buttons, man. Like, thank you very much, Love Lifted. You know, I, you know I, I do what I have to do. I keep it moving. I do what I have to do because, you know, I love, I love, I love, I love what I do. No, I love what I do. Not a hater. Got to be a congratulator. You're with the master teachers, God King. <laughs> Thank you very much, Khalifa. People on Instagram, how y'all feeling out there on Instagram, man? I hope everything is right back. This is why I back at home of USSR was an argue with my math teacher. <laughs> math and my math was so was so different, especially when it's just, yeah, I know when you in the USSR. Yeah, I understand. All right, I understand. So big up to the people from the USSR. Big up to all of you out there. I want to um, I want to say thank you to all of you that came on. And um, if you're going to be in Atlanta to come hang out with all of us for the public event or the private event with Professor James Smalls, come on out. Come on out and give, it, give, give us a hug. Give Professor James Smalls a hug. He's going to be in the building, man. The public event and the private event. Come on out and give us a hug. You can pay for both of them and get a discount also if you want to pay for both of them. But you have to text me so I can break it down to how much it's going to cost if you pay for both of them. We have the public and the private event. Now, the public and the private event. So if you want to come to both of them on the on April the 6th and April the 7th, you can pay for both of them via Cash App or PayPal, but you have to text me so I can send you the link to the Cash App and PayPal. Or you can just look at the bottom of the screen. Uh, you take off $10, $10. That means you pay like $124 for both days. And uh, and then boom, you'll be in the building hanging out with myself and Blue Pill and Red Pill and all of us that's going to be there. I think Professor Griff said he's vending and, you know, also um, a lot of the, the area got a great vegan food right there in the facility of the YG Cafe. And then the all day workshop is going to be powerful because I'm going to have um, it's going to be an all day Q&A. Myself and, and uh, uh, Blue is going to be hosting it. And um then we invited, um, uh, uh, what's the name, um, uh, High Heels to come in, Sister Golda. So she's going to be coming in and doing her thing. So I can't wait. So again, this has been the numerovational perspective, a numerovational perspective of being a vessel. It's my perspective. I don't know about anybody else's perspective. It's my perspective. And I just ask people to respect my perspective. The Cash App and PayPal is here. There it is. Cash App and PayPal is here. It's my perspective. And I believe I did well. I broke it down. Um, I didn't go into the consonants, although the consonants of the word, the words being a vessel adds up to a number 25, which is a seven. We spoke about the 25. And then it adds up to a number 23, which is the royal star of the lion or lioness, the consonants of the word, of these words. When I say the consonants, that's the B, the N, the G, the V, the S, the S, and the L adds up to a number 23 in the Pythagorean and number 25 in the Chaldean. 
powerful when you understand how to pull the interpretations out of the books instead of just looking at it as a human expect, uh, aspect, you got to look at it from the word aspect also. That's why sometimes when you hear me read, instead of saying a person, I'll say the energy because all of us are living energy anyway. So the energy connected to the person connected to the number 25 is also can be connected to the interpretations, both high and low, but con both constructive and destructive. So on that note, family, Remember, I will be in Brooklyn also with Monique and the crew. Big up to Monique and um, Sister Kafunia. I'll be in Brooklyn also. That's right. You can get your tickets through Linktree forward slash King Simon and Numerator, or you can go to allmylinks.com for all the ticket events for April 6th and April 7th and April 13th and April 14th. There you go. Those two events. Oh, man, we got some great, great, great events coming up. And remember, Nicholas is also doing, you can go to the event, right? They're doing Riza Islam on the 27th and the 28th. Double days. All of them are double days, baby. And big up to Professor and Grandmaster Bill McLeod. We're going to be at the dojo training and beating up each other for his birthday, his 80th birthday. He'll be on the mat, too. Y'all going to see an 80-year-old work. Mm -hmm. Big up to my son in his studio. Enough respect to him. Get, get to his studio, greenstudionyc.com. Also, remember Carrie Ann Ingram, hit her up, hit her, hit her up, hit her up for a session with her. And also, if you want to do a distant Reiki energy healing session, she is a master at that. And she's also got great jewelry, too, that can help heal and guide uh, the way that jewelry does. Also, big up to Lloyd Strayhorn, one of our, our, our esteemed elders. That's lloyd-strayhorn.com. And if you do want to book a session with me, I'm in April, about to enter March. I'm in April, about to enter March, so make, make sure you book now so you can book a session with me. Just text me. If you live outside the United States, text me via WhatsApp. If you live outside of the United States, text me via WhatsApp. And do remember, these are my books. You can purchase them through Amazon or Linktree, forward slash King Simon Numerovator. And do remember, I also have my new audio book about to come in. Two different ones are going to be coming out, one raw and one that's going to be produced. And then my children's books is coming out also. My children's book on Let We Tell the Story based on history of both black and white, but let we tell the story. All right. This has been the numerational perspective of being a vessel. Family, have a great day, afternoon, or evening. Be safe, be strong, be great. And please remember to vote, 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 vote. Vote for your brother. You can go through my link tree to find out how to vote for it also. If you want to vote for me, you can go through my link tree also. You can go to my link tree right there, link tree forward slash King Simon Enumerator. It'll take you to the website so you can vote also. But if you want to just text this number and vote for everybody, Feel it out. But I remember I'm in the television host and you can vote as many times as you want, as long as you do it in different days and all of that. You can vote as many times as you want. All right. As long as you vote different days, different weeks or different months or whatever. Just vote, 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 vote. So we can walk. So we can all walk on that stage proud together while you're watching Forbidden Knowledge because it's going to stream live on Forbidden Knowledge TV also. But you have to have a subscription in order for you to get to see that stream. All right. Have a great day, afternoon, and evening. Thank you very much for being your great self. I love you because I love myself and thank all of you and all of your energy. Uh, and I really mean that from the top and the bottom of my heart, from the top and the bottom of our heart, I really mean that. Take care and remember, be the vessel. Be the vessel pouring in and be the vessel willing to receive the purity of energy coming to you. All right, take care. Content disclaimer, the views, comments, and opinions expressed by guest speakers or authors on this YouTube channel do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions held by this channel's broadcasters and its sponsors. Parental guidance is advised. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teachers, scholarship, education, and research for fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringed. King Simon.
King Simon. I love him. He's yeah. family. Um, and he has one of the top shows on the Forbidden Knowledge TV network, actually. Right. So make sure you guys check that out if you have it. Yeah, his show is called... Um, it's uh, Well, it was really based on numerovation. It's a numerology show. And it's called How to Calculate Your Destiny. Yeah. By King Simon. He's the host of the show. The show has done so well, we're now getting ready to start working on filming season two. All right, so King Simon, one of the top shows on Forbidden Knowledge TV, streaming TV platform. The legend Professor James Smalls will be coming to Atlanta, Georgia, April 6th and April 7th with special guests Destiny Pandarvis and Tassili Ma'at. Text me now at 347-496-1022 or you can go to my link tree at linktree forward slash King Simon the Numerovator. The one, the only Professor James Smalls as you've seen him on Hidden Colors and all the other documentaries. You want to be there April 6th and April 7th public and private event with Professor James Smalls. It's the numerovational session with King Simon. Text your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. And get my books on Amazon now. Get out of the class. 